Hello farmers, I'm Mweri Momoshai from Aquahub Kenya and today we will be answering new questions in regards to sprinklers and on this episode we will tackle different aspects of sprinkler such as the flow rate needed for any type of the sprinkler. We will also tackle the spray radius. We will also go into details into the pressure bar needed for these types of sprinklers and also the quantity needed for different sizes of farm and in this episode we will be considering one acre farm so that it will be easier for you to understand the specification and the needs of your farm based on the type of sprinkler let's walk through and learn together we have different categories of sprinklers we have low pressure sprinkler we also have impact sprinklers and we have high pressure or rain gun sprinklers so we will check into each of the categories into details and give all the specification needed for you to understand so that next time when you want to purchase a sprinkler for your farm you are able to know what you need we are going to start with this low pressure sprinkler it's called a butterfly sprinkler its outlet or inlet it has three quarter on the top and half on the base so you can either use a three quarter stand or use a half inch stand the pressure bar needed for this is between 1.5 to 3 bar and the spray radius it does between 3 to 5 meters the flow rate of the water is between 200 to 700 liters per hour it is ideal for vegetables mostly when you're doing your kitchen garden and you don't want to incur the cost of drip irrigation this one is ideal for you we also have this type of sprinkler we call it a ground sprinkler it is very simple to use as you attach it to a rain to a hose pipe that you connect to your tap and it does a radius of between four meters to six meters and the discharge rate it does between 300 liters to 650 liters per hour it is ideal for grass or bushy crops such as the traditional vegetables managu kundet this one is going to help you in that we also have this type of sprinkler that we we call it an impact sprinkler hini outlet yake it is three quarter and it is male threaded on the outside you can also get it as female threaded pia radius yake inafanya between seven meters to 14 meters radius uneza itumia na pump ama witumie na maji ikona pressure kama tank yako ume raise at, an, at three me, between 2.5 to 3 meters high it is ideal for any field crops kama vegetables cereals ama fodder crops and you can also use in your kitchen garden we also have this impact sprinkler Outlet yake ni one inch na ni female threaded. In, in a piga maji into three sections. This one, the nozzle iko hapa na hapa na hapa pia. It does a radius of between 13 meters to 18 meters. You can use with a pump. I'm utumie with your tank that is well raised. That means if you are tank, if you are raised, maji kona pressure mingi. It requires a minimum pressure above between two two bar to five bar and the flow rate is between 1200 to 3500 liters per hour it is ideal for any field crop such as fodder or you can do it with cereals or any vegetables we are going to get into the series of rain guns that we have we have two types of rain guns we have we're going to start with the first one which is this one it is made of aluminium and brass and the small one that we have is one inch it is female threaded on there in the inlet and as you can see hapa is in is a quad just ili uweze kuweka the angle enye unataka imwage maji nayo unezaeka from 45 degrees to 360 ikiwa hivyo loose that means in a 360 if you set it like that that means your sprinkler will go to an adjusted angle from 45 90 to 360 
to 75. It comes with different nozzles. Hizi zinakusaidia wakati unataka kuregulate maji venye itoke. Ukitaka itoke maji mingi sana na ukitaka itoke maji kidogo sana. The nozzles are different and adaptable to that kind of work. It does a radius of between 15 to 18 meters. For one acre, you will need around six of them for them to irrigate the farm to the maximum. Namchanga ikwe mepata maji vizuri. It requires a pressure bar of between three to five. And the, it does between 2.6 to 6 meter cubic per hour. It is ideal for any field crops, kama cereals, fodder crops. Fodder crops ni kama napia grass, cereals ni kama dengu. Na ikikuja pia kwa vegetables, you can also use it on that. Tuko pia na hii rain gun sprinkler ya one and a half. Ni similar na hiyo ya one inch. The difference comes into this one requires a high pressure bar of between three to six. Na pia inaenda radius ya between 18 meters to 25 meters. In a, that means inahitaji pressure mingi ndo ifanye. You can also adjust as well. Kulingana unataka ipige maji to what angles from 45, 90, 180 to 70 ama 360. Discharge ya maji inafanya between 18 liters, sorry, 18 to 20 meter cubic per hour. For one acre, you will need this between three to four of them. The reason we say between three to four, this is dependent na shamba yako ikona shape gani, ndo inakusaidia kujua unahitaji ngapi. Tukona hizi rain guns zingine, inakuja in PY40, PY30, na PY50. Tukiongea in PY, uneza kuo na changanyikiwa. For instance, hii nimeshika ni PY50. PY50, it is equivalent to two and a half outlet. Hii ina, ina enda spray radius ya between 25 to 35 meters radius. Na pressure bar yake ni between 4 to 7 bar. It, inahitaji pump. Ikona nguvu nyingi ndio. Iskume maji sana. For an acre, you only need one of these because it's, it's able to cover the two sides of the farm at a go. And the discharge rate ya maji, ya, maji yenye utatumia in volumes, it is discharged between 22.5 to 35.5 meter cubic per hour. Tukona hii PY40. PY40, it's equivalent to 2 inch hapa. This one, the nozzles ziko intact. You don't change. Inakuja tu na nozzle moja. Pressure bar hii inahitaji between 3 to 6 bar. Na discharge volume yake ya maji ni between 10.5 to 22.5 meter cubic per hour. For an acre, you may need two of these. And it is ideal for any fodder crops or any cereals. Tukopia na hii ndogo yake ni PY30, equivalent to one and a half inlet. It is also adjustable to any angle that you want. Comes only with one nozzle. It does a radius of between 16 to 25 meters. And its pressure bar is between 3 to 5. And the discharge rate is between 5 to 10.2 meter cubic per hour. In an acre, you may need between 3 to 5 of them. To copy anahi, in a to a pop-up sprinkler, as you can see, it is popping up and down. It is ideal for landscaping, ama for your lawns. If kama umeona uwanja za mpira, this is the mostly used, commonly used sprinkler. And it is very good and it's high pressure. You must use it with a pump. To, this one comes in three quarter and also half inch. The spray radius is between four to six meters. And the discharge rate is between 1200 to 3000 meter cubic per hour. 
per nozzle. This is just a snapshot of the different types of sprinklers we have. We have a lot of them. We have like, this one is a smaller version of the butterfly sprinkler. This one is called a magnet sprinkler. We also have this one is just a butterfly, a complicated butterfly sprinkler. All these are low pressure, but this you can also use with high pressure. These ones are impact sprinklers, metallic impact sprinklers, metallic butterfly sprinklers. And these ones are impact sprinklers and also some plastic crane guns. I hope today I've covered most of your questions in regards to sprinkler irrigation. However, not all crops thrive under sprinkler irrigation and also in drip irrigation. But you can adapt this new technology called rain horse irrigation. And I'll be taking you on a short step on how to install it. It's ideal for your farm, especially if you're doing vegetables on a large, on large scale. And also, it varies on the different outlet that you need. We have 32 millimeter equivalent to one inch. We have 40 equivalent to one and a quarter. And we also have 50 equivalent to one and a half. The discharge rate of the water is between 1.8 meter cubic per hour to 2.2 meter cubic per hour, depending on the size of the rain horse you want to use. The spray hat is between 1.2 to 2 meters. And also the spray radius ranges between 2 meters to 5 meters, depending on the size of the rain horse that you choose to use. And for this one, we really require a sandal clamp, a main pipe, a valve, a rain horse takeoff, and a rain horse end cap. And one thing that we should note is, for you to use a rain horse, you'll need to use it with a pump because it is pressure compensated. So your main pipe should also be of a high quality that can withstand the pressure of any the pump you're using. So to your main pipe, you're going to attach this, this sandal clamp and it has an outlet. So you must perforate a hole before you attach any other connector there. Because this is the up and your mahali majiako itatokea ukisha to boandio itoke from the main pipe in kwa rain horse. Ukisha connect the sandal clamp, unafunga your valve in ya kufunga na kufungua maji, ndio ingie kwa rain horse yako. After the valve, you're going to need this, which is called a rain horse takeoff. And you utafunga. Vizuri, lazima weke thread seal apo, ndio isimuage maji. After you do that, you insert your rain horse mpaka musho, and you use this to clip it. And you use that to clip it tightly to the connector so that it cannot be removed by the pressure of the water. Ikifika musho ya line yako, it is ideal to do between 30 meters to 40 meters per line. Unakata, ndio unaeka kifuniko ya kwa hapo ndio majisi mwagike mbaka mwisho. I hope it has been a great learning experience. See you in our next video and let us help you make your farming journey sustainable and profitable. Karibuni Aqua Hub where we deal with greenhouses, different types of irrigation, solar dryers and shade houses. You can get us via our number that is attached below or visit our website www.aquahubkenya.co.ke Karibuni sana.